been asked a couple of different questions, but they kind of tie in with each other. So I'm going to try and answer both questions here in one. Well, obviously, with the basic hair rig, that is quite adaptable to be used with all sorts of baits on all sorts of waters. You can use it with nut baits, boily baits, you know, pop top or bottom baits, and it is pretty much the going rig that will fish any any lake. But there is no one given answer to tying a rig that will work on all waters. You need to be trying different things, but what it comes down to is a confidence factor. And the rig that I tend to use is not so much a hair rig, it's a version of that, but instead of having a hair on it, there's there's a, a rig ring placed on a D. It's basically a rig that you can change the hook really easily, quite quickly, without having to retie the whole rig. Um, it's just basically a, what they call a multi-rig and it's what I'm going to show you how to tie now. So now I'm just going to show you how to tie that basic rig. It's not always about finding a rig that suits the water you're fishing, but also a rig that suits you. If you prefer to tie it and you gain confidence with it, then that's the way forwards in my opinion. Um, all you've got to do is keep the rig simple, basic and strong with a sharp hook and that's all it's about so first of all I've got a section of coated braid here um, roughly 12 inches long and I'm going to form a, a loop at the end of it and I'm basically just going to tie a simple overhand granny knot on that doubled over section to form a small loop of about half an inch maybe three quarters of an inch just like so Just going to snip off that tag there so it's nice and neat. We've got the coated braid there with a small loop on the end. Next thing I need to do is take a hook and I do fish weedy waters quite a lot. Um, something that's always overlooked is the fact that people like to use a size 8 hook or a size 7 for example, whatever they like to use. And then when the, when the weed comes up during the summer months, they keep, keep to the same rig, same size hook, but a great thing to do, and it does work, and it will bank you extra fish, when the weed comes up, is to basically up the size of your hooks, and I'm using size fours here. So basically what you do is, you take the loop of the, of the rig there, just squeeze it together a little bit, and I wanna pass this the tip of the loop through the inside of the eye of the hook so it comes out the back just like so and then the next thing to do I need a, a rig ring and I'm going to put the rig ring over that pinched together loop before passing the loop over the end of the hook and then over the tip to, to form the D so this loop is going to form your D here I've got a, a small rig ring around about a three millimeter rig ring is quite suitable you can use round ones pear shaped ones any sort of shape you like but i prefer the round one so that's actually being fed over the tip of your pinched together loop there next thing i need to do is pass that loop over the shank and the bend of the hook this one's a little bit tight, but there you go, it's over there. Basically, that has now formed a D, you can see that, around the back of the shank of the hook, and the ring is now moving and sliding up and down the D. I've been using this rig in this form for over 12 years now 13 years something like that and it's the only rig I use these days you can use it for a pop-up or a bottom bait initially when I used to use this rig I used to use a small hook but now I'm trying it with bigger hooks the material that I use the coated braid quite often used to slip up and down the eye of the hook and this isn't really what you want you know sometimes on your casting it might move and it was a slight lack of confidence that your bait was presented not correctly and also 
the rig itself lends itself because of the way the angle of the coated braid comes out from the inside of the eye it lends itself to being used with an outturned eye on your hook so obviously like a chod type of hook I know certain people have preferences to their own type of hooks that they prefer initially I couldn't get this rig to sit correctly with a hook that had let's say a straight eye or an interned eye it used to kick over too much um, but then the simple addition of a very short piece of around 10 millimeters of silicon tubing you know the stretchy stuff the old school silicon tubing doesn't have to be expensive just a cheap black piece of silicon tubing or green whatever you prefer about 10 mil long perhaps a little section of that obviously before you tie the swivel on if you just slide this over from the opposite end to where your hook is at the minute pull that down slide it over the knot push that slightly slide that silicon over the knot up to the eye of the hook and now if I push the coated braid away to try and form the D and, and allow myself room to just pass that silicon tubing over the eye of the hook that will hold your D in place I'm just going to use this basic baiting needle here to put inside the D and um, pull it up the shank of the hook because that silicone is, is now holding that D quite firmly now, as I said you can use this both as a pop-up and a bottom bait rig so the knot is just within that silicone now so to make this a pop-up rig all I'm going to do is basically uh, take back a little piece of the plastic coating off this braid just below the tubing there like so um, put that shot on there or your putty on there and as you can see this is really quite movable now it's um, very limp around that area and the hook and the silicone and everything else is the stiff part now I'll put the shot onto there so that all everything above the shot is very stiff now to make this a bottom bait rig it's exactly the same way you just wouldn't include the shot however I would still take back that plastic coating so that on a bottom bait situation if a fish picks that up there's still a lot of movement for the hook to drop down in the in the fish's mouth so I'm just going to put this piece of shot on there I normally use a BB or a number one and that's pretty much it that's the basics of it and uh, I just want to show you now how I tie on the bait to the rig ring so what you're going to need is some bait floss or dental floss there and this is a really nice simple way of tying the bait on I'm going to pass the dental floss just through the rig ring now and basically what I'm going to do is it's a little bit tricky to see on the camera here but I'm basically going to form a loop I don't know if you can see that I'm going to form a loop there and it's almost as though I'm forming a knot but instead of forming a knot I'm now going to form another small loop over the big loop so in theory I've got a large loop and a small loop sitting across the top of the large loop the tag that I've used to form both loops I'm going to pass underneath and through the small loop forming a knot on the big loop just like that and basically when you pull the two tags the loop becomes a lot smaller this is the really fiddly bit uh, it took me a long time to get this to um, to be able to do this quite quickly now the best way of doing it is holding the bait in your forefinger and thumb and your right hand and then clasping one of the tags in your middle finger between your first knuckle there hold that boilie between the loop and pull both tags one of them trapped in my right hand and this one here and that's trapped in there pull it nice and tight that's one knot there already that's two 
and I basically just put about five knots in there. Snip those tags off nice and short. The simplest way of now finishing this off is to burn the two shortened tags with a lighter until you see the knot bubbling and then dab it with your fingernail or the end of the lighter. Just like so. And that's as neat as you'll ever tie a bait on. And that's not going anywhere. That's basically it. And then obviously I'll tie a swivel on the end of there. Some people like to put a, d a dab of um, putty on the coated braid an inch or two away from the shot and an inch or two away from the swivel. You can do that, but to be honest with you, I keep things simple. I don't really do that anymore. I used to do it. But that's pretty much basically it. And to make that a bottom bait, as I say, all I would do uh, would be not to put that shot on. So basically, this isn't a hair rig, as you see. It's known as the multi-rig. Some people call it the Johnny Mac rig because I popularised it wasn't me that came up with the idea I must say that but I've just popularized it over the years and people have associated my name with it and um, it's a very effective rig that will always nail him in the bottom lip that rig a great thing about this rig I said earlier I think I mentioned earlier about changing the hook now simply by taking off the shot sliding down that silicone Taking that D back over the tip of the hook there, take the bait off, you can change the hook, put another hook on, put the ring back on the D, put the D back over the tip of the hook, slide the tubing up, put your shot back on. So basically, when you're casting it around and you're trying to look for them clear spots, sometimes you might bump the hook on a bit of gravel or stone or whatever, and you can change the hook and then without having to retie the rig.